Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here from The Automator. Someone wrote us on the forum and asked about having a spell check in version two for auto hockey. So this was a kind of a fun example of showing, you know, some things change a lot and some things don't. Yeah, that's right. Um, so let's take a look at, let's take a look at the original version. So the original version is this one. It was already a 0.36. Uh, B1 script. Yeah, V1 script. It had its directives and everything. And then uh, we have the, a menu icon. I don't know if we really have that. Yeah, there is an icon for it. Okay, cool. Has its own icon. And then we went ahead and had a lot of hot strings. And yeah, you might go ahead and say, holy crap, how am I going to go ahead and fix all these? You know, like, oh, I don't want to do this. Again, go ahead and check before you decide that. And we have a little script that helps you decide whether you want to change a script from yep. V1 to V2. But this one, I know for a fact that it's not that hard to do because hot strings don't change almost at all. So it's the same thing. And if you have tons of them, yeah, you shouldn't worry. They're exactly the same. Um, well, but there's a few if, things let me add start. a caveat there. If you use the hot key or hot string function, you know, like that, actually, there's some bigger changes. But when it's a one liner, it's like, yeah, you know, if it is a one liner like this, no issues. Now, if it is on a different line, for example, if you have like code in there and it's multiple lines for one hot string, yeah, that changes a little tiny bit. I'm going to show you in a second. So let's start with this. The first thing I usually recommend if you have an editor that allows you to do this just switch the language to v2 and usually the lang the editor will tell you if there's something wrong if it doesn't give you that then yeah you will have to do it yourself but this is kind of like a good starting point of what i should take into account when i'm switching the first thing is is complaining about the requires directive because i'm using an older one so yeah let's go ahead and change that there we go. So that is not going to... Now, the no environment directive no longer exists, so we don't need that. The single instance, you don't need a comma there anymore. And you don't need to also specify force anymore. As soon as you put single instance, then it does that. So let me put that here. Now, here's where it becomes really, really tricky. This script is a library that I have. And as I was the creator, I also converted the library to v2. What might happen on your case is that you might have a library that is not converted to v2, and then you will have issues. In my case, yeah, I can just simply use my library, or let me see how often I use this object. So I used it here, but do I use it below? I don't. I don't use it that often. So I can get rid of this. I had it for other reasons. It was for updating and stuff like that. And the icon file down here. But the icon file, which I have it here, I have the path right here. So I can just put it down here. And then I can just get rid of the whole thing. I was lucky on that one because I'm the author of the library. So I can go ahead and make it in v2 but there are some other libraries that you might not get that luck and you will have up a really important point generally speaking we don't argue for people to convert their stuff from v1 to v2 just leave it in v1 right it's gonna be yeah. around for a long time if you only have one or two scripts i think it does make sense to get it into v2 but hey right. if, if you got a lot just leave it in v1 it's fine not a problem especially if you are bound to v1 because one of the libraries is only in V1, then by all means to stay using that. That doesn't mean any. Now, send in send mode input is also the default, so we don't need that anymore. Now, here's the tricky one: the menu commands. They are not as you are used to. And we had this menu tray icon command before. That's not how it works anymore because the menu object 
now is for the menus that you create yourself, not the icon. Like, what does the tray icon has to do with the menu? That is its own command now. And you have the tray set icon command that only does that one thing, right? It just sets the icon to the tray. That's it. It is not like a menu add trade icon, whatever it was, but it, we don't care about that. We're almost done. I only have one more issue to go. And that is that here, before you had all this hot strings pointing to the same command down here, right? Was the return to stop them from being replaced by this other hot string. But what I now hot strings, if you have them in a in a multi-line form or as this was before, you have to open and close parentheses there and put your commands in there. So in this case, whoops. I just had to open and close the parentheses and the problem is gone. All of those hot strings will execute that one line, which is nothing, right? So I could even remove the return because with hot strings now, the brackets, the, that becomes the return line. So you don't have to worry about that any longer, but I'm going to keep it there just for clarity that I- I was going to say, it would be- to me, totally crazy to be like, yeah. I had to add these two brackets that have nothing in there. It's a block of nothing, but it breaks. So I totally agree. Yeah, I just put the, that there just to make it explicit that I consciously right. put that in right. there. Don't delete this. Yeah. Right, exactly. That's it. But in general, it's not really needed in certain situations. So now, as you can see, I'm not getting problems here on the right side. I can go ahead and try the script out and see how many errors I get. None, we're good. Now let's test it. Align should be fine. So align, space, everything good. But if I go ahead and misspell something, walking space, it would be replaced by the ing. And that was done by this guy here, right? So that's good. I know that the script is working. I just need to grab another one that seems, okay, maybe science. So scenes. Ah, there you go. So it's working fine. And again, it didn't take me more than five minutes. I got lucky with the library, but even if I just had to include my V2 library, which is basically the same thing, and I didn't have to change much. So in general, don't be afraid, even if the here it looks like this is a 4,000 lines of code. The amount of lines of code that you have to convert does not indicate how difficult it will be. We were working with a different script, the Ryan script, that it was only like 60 lines of code, and it took me longer to do that one than this one. This one is 4,000 lines of code, but I didn't have to change almost nothing from it. So. As we mentioned, we have a script that kind of gives you a, a score on how difficult it's going to be. I'll put that URL up here. That that will help you give an idea if it's something you really want to convert or not. Because, it, of course, it depends on your skill set and everything as well. But, yeah, it, it's a just a general guide. That's where, that's where the V1 to V2 video that we created, the little course that we created, helps out. Because even if you do not have, like, a you don't have a lot of knowledge, it's perfect. If you know V1 and you know what you're doing, I'm just telling you what you should have to look out for. Like this tiny little things like, hey, no, just use the brackets. You know, like there are some things that you have to remember. That's all. Yeah. So as, as I mentioned, we have a, a course that helps you make the transition from V1 to V2. But if you're totally new to AutoHotKey, we have both an introductory to AutoHotKey in V1 and now a version of V2. And they're all on sale. You can go look at them. This URL I'll put up here. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And we'll make this download available. I'll try to remember to put the URL up here. We'll probably group them to, you know, both spell checks in one file. So make sure you look at which one you're using. One's for V1 and one's for V2. But hope okay. that helps. Like the video. If you learned something, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, we're the largest auto hotkey channel out there. And we publish videos very regularly. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Cheers.